Yeah, Chris, we've got some shocking news coming down the pipeline tonight. It turns out if you want to be less anxious, less scared, more peaceful, more optimistic, and more creative during this time, the best thing you can do is turn off the news. Coming to you live from my garage right now with my little friend here. Now, there's no doubt that the news right now can be a valuable resource as you look for information during this challenging time that can protect you, can protect others, can protect your community. But once you get that information, my recommendation is turn it off. Now, I'm not here to knock on the people that work in the news business. There are a lot of people right now that are great people, amazing people hustling to keep you and I informed. But I have a little secret for you. I used to work in the news business. I was a television news producer. And there's a lot of things I want to help you understand so you realize that the news business is a business and it'll help you have a greater perspective so when you watch the news, perhaps you can be a little bit more peaceful, especially in this challenging time. When I was 21 years old, I got hired by CBS to produce their 11 o'clock news. 21 years old. That's crazy. All right, so let me give you a little behind the scenes on what I did as a television news producer. It was my job to come in the office every single day and I would start mining for stories that I could put into my 30 minute broadcast. I had to fill it with stories that would attract the most attention because the more people that watched my show, the better it was for business. And it turns out the type of stories that you and I seem to be attracted to are not usually the uplifting kind. I don't know what it is about the human psychology, but you and I, we just can't seem to look away from a car wreck. That tragedy seems to grab our attention. And in the news business, we knew this about our psychological condition and we exploited it. There's a saying in the news business, if it bleeds, it leads. In other words, when really bad things happen, like a car accident, someone gets hurt, someone dies, that gave us a story to tell. All right, so now you know a little behind the scenes on the news business. And if you're like me, you're sick and tired of the negativity that's being perpetuated day in and day out by the media. And so what can you and I do about it? Here's what we can do. Stop watching what's currently being broadcast. That's going to send a message to the networks that we're sick of it. We want to see something different. We want to see a more balanced approach. And if you do watch the news from time to time, that's okay. But just look at it through the lens of this is just a snapshot of what's actually happening in the world and balance out your perspective by looking for stories of kindness, gratitude, and inclusivity. There are plenty of them out there, especially right now. And I think if we all do that together, we're each going to have a more compassionate and comprehensive view of the world. And I think that's something we all need right now.